Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Tiffany and I upload a new homemaking video every Sunday. Now today I am very excited because this video is a requested video and this is for my friend Chris who I believe lives in Florida at the moment but he is a dance friend of mine and he wanted to know how I make butter from scratch so come with me and I'll show you how to do it the first thing you need to do is obtain some heavy whipping cream I like to use raw milk from a farmer, but today, just because uh, this tends to be more palatable for the masses, I'm going to use just some organic heavy whipping cream that I picked up at the store. And what you wanna do is just pour it into your blender. Now we're gonna use this blender today. Usually I use my food processor for cooking projects, but today I'm gonna use my blender because I like this better for butter, for whatever reason. Um, and don't be like me. If you have a Ninja blender, don't put it in the dishwasher. I did and I wasn't supposed to and I didn't follow directions and now it's a little bit beat up so I try to be careful with it now. Um, I love, love, love this blender but you do have to wash it by hand so don't skip that for sure. And I am just gonna make all of this today. And you can make as much or as little as you want. And the cool thing is, I know that a lot of people have taken up the hobby of baking bread over this whole past few crazy months. Um, and this is something really fun that you can do to just kind of make it extra special. And you can make any kind of butter you want. You can do this salted honey butter, you can make herb butter, whatever you want. You can do like a garlic herb butter, which would be delicious. Once you have poured your heavy cream into your blender, you're just gonna blend it for like 30 seconds. And after a few seconds, you'll have whipped cream. And then you're just gonna keep going until you start to see yellow chunks flying around in there, which sounds gross, but it's not. It's not, I promise. It's just the way, the, the way it goes. And I am just so happy we get to do it like this, and we don't have to do it with a butter churn anymore. I'm just gonna check on it really quick. Ooh, we've got whipped cream. We're a little over halfway there, so we're just gonna keep going with this. making it yourself. You get to stop at the whipped cream and have some. see butter start to form down here it gets a little bit more high solid and um, starts to look like butter down there so that's how you know it's about done let's go ahead and finish up this process so you basically just want to get all of this out of your blender And you'll get lots of buttermilk off of this too. Woo, we made a lot. Now, as you see, there's like a lot of buttermilk in this bowl. So what you wanna do is kinda of get it all together squeeze all of the buttermilk off of this butter. Now, once you have your butter separated as much as you can, 
from your buttermilk, go ahead and wash your hands. What you're gonna do is squeeze the rest of the water off of this butter. So just take it in your hands and squeeze it. Now you have to work fast because it's gonna get melty in your hands and you don't want that, but you wanna squeeze. See all that coming off there? <laughs> and then you wanna make sure to get all the butter out of the buttermilk here. Just kinda wring it out a little bit like a dishcloth. all the pieces. Squeeze all that out of there. Now you can rinse it with some cold water and since this is fat it won't absorb into your butter so make sure to get the water nice and cold if you can. more off of it. And here you have this beautiful unsalted butter right here. You have beautiful unsalted butter right here. And I'm gonna go over, back over to my countertop and add some salt to my butter. This is when you wanna add your salt or your honey and cinnamon or your herbs. So add whatever you want to this butter and you can have it with your bread that you all have been making out there in the world. I don't eat bread, but I wish I could. It's so delicious. I love the flavor of pink Himalayan sea salt, but all kinds of salt would be delicious in this, I'm sure. Use whatever you have on hand and mix it in. Just kind of want to cut it in. <laughs> Mine got a little hard under the cold water, but I'm getting ready to put it back in the fridge anyway. And you know, you can also get some silicone molds, like even ice cube molds, and put this in, um, in those if you want to put them in the refrigerator in little molds so that you can take it off and uh, take it out of the fridge in littler pieces that's a good idea too i don't have any on hand at this moment but anyway tastes just like butter it's just a little bit better um if you ask me this could just be you know like the pride in knowing you made it yourself that makes it taste better but who cares now you have your very own fresh butter that you made all by yourself <laughs> I love this butter. It's so fresh. It's so delicious. And I hope you try it out at home. So go ahead and give this video a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more of my homemaking videos. And I'll see you next Sunday. Bye! Y'all, I just wanted to bring up one more point before we close out this butter video. If you want to be kind to the people in your house and to yourself, you will serve butter at room temperature. So I highly recommend investing in a little butter dish. And this is something you can keep on your counter so no one has to get frustrated trying to spread butter on something. Just something to think about.